interested in food since I've been little, toddler running around with, because my whole family came from or worked in the industry at one point or another. But I really got interested in the science side, which is what I'm currently doing around going through middle school and high school. Definitely is a bachelor degree in some type of food related science. So, you know, chemical engineering, food science, or even my degree, which is in culinary science, as well as I have a culinary arts degree. So some type of four year degree in that field, plus usually internships and um, restaurant experience as well helps. Day to day, I mean, no day is really the same. So I have different project work a day. I usually, um, day to day, usually working with the sales team in conjunction with their customers for if they have a project going on, whether it be keto development or even doing just streamlined demos of showing what us as Caldic in my role can provide them. So doing that and then also my own um, development throughout the day for demos that we can go out and show to trade shows, to expert forums, and um, just when we have our meetings with customers to put out there to gain interest. Usually from start to finish for my aspect is anywhere from a week to a month for actual mm -hmm. development. And then it goes to another team who does the deep technical side and gets everything ready to go and commercialization of it. So yeah, so really it can be up to two years or even longer for some companies. One of the coolest projects that I have been a part of or worked on is um, where I really took the lead and developed a line of vegan burgers that are completely made from side stream ingredients for the most part and mimic the texture and melting point of meat. I think the favorite part of my job would be um, dealing with the customers. So learning more about people's different businesses and different roles within those and how they interact and what their needs are and really seeing kind of behind the scenes of up and coming products and being able to work on them. I mean, I really don't have like a least favorite because I really do love my job, but a lot of some of the development gets um, tiresome and worrisome, especially when they have everything under the sun restrictions with it being keto, paleo, plant-based, dairy-free, non-gluten, so yeah, too bad. It really just is trial and error, so knowing what works and what ingredients we can use and then figuring out um, how to show it, how to best approach it, and then going back and forth with the customer through trials. say continuing education is required it is recommended and it is encouraged like I'm actually um, reading and studying for to get a couple certifications once I become available to get them but um, but for skill development and um, education just throughout the whole career I mean it's kind of like anything so you're always learning something always developing the skills that you currently have are working with cross-functional teams to learn more about what you don't know, but would like to know to be able to just better yourself and position yourself in the market. The whole industry is considered like the food industry. So it, we, it encompasses everything from my job, which is in the science area, food development, innovation, all the way into, you know, just your restaurant work. So, but I'll focus on my side. Um, through my side, um, for the jobs that are available, it's really culinary innovation, research and development chefs, um, culinary scientists, which is what my particular position is, 
um, all the way up into corporate chefs and innovation. And that even encompasses everything from food and granite manufacturing to where I'm currently at to consumer packaged good companies, which is what you see on the shelf. So the name brand companies all the way into quick service restaurants. So you have like your Sonic, your Arby's, your KFC, Pizza Hut, Domino's. So, so it is a very wide range of an industry with many out, outlets of where you could go. Actually what I'm currently doing. So I wanted to be in the food industry. It kind of, it went from being on the food side to the science side around middle school, but since I've been a little toddler, I've wanted to be in some aspect of the food industry. The biggest skill I learned while in 4-H is really just um, that soft skill development. So really talking and talking in front of people, talking with people, networking, building those relationships, because really that's a huge part of my job is talking with cross-functional teams or talking with culinary teams outside of my own company and being able to relay information and relay ideas in a broadened sense of where they're understood by everybody and not just in a small facet of what you know. So really that was the main thing is, and then also the networking and really time management as I work on anywhere from five to 10 projects at any time with time deadlines of a week all the way out to two months. So really kind of judging and putting stuff where they need to be and also just management. I would say definitely just kind of research and reach out to people and that are in the industry and know what kind of where you want to end up in what area because there are multiple different paths and they all kind of jump back and forth but um but i would say yeah mostly research no reading helps with it with all the science and back and also just schooling is a big part of it because you have to know the technical side you have to also know the culinary side they kind of go hand in hand and mesh together so schooling is a big one rating and really just my biggest thing was networking so that's what kind of got me actually networking purely got me my job that i have now <laughs> if anybody is interested in the career they can i mean they can always reach out to me so